All right, what's going on you? Welcome to another video on the channel and we got ourselves a brand new Aussie car in the game today. I'm gonna be playing with this thing, this uh, this Holden. It's very slow, stock right now, but this is it. It looks kind of cool. Well, it actually looks very cool. It's got big old, big old wang. That's not really a wang. It's very retro styled, even the interior. It's like all green and square, uh, just like the exterior. It is V8 because it's a it's a Holden. It's a performance Holden. But yeah, like I said, it's kind of slow. However, this was very fast back in 1988 that the car was released. It's doing 160 something miles an hour, which is really, really good. I mean, I'm making fun of it now that it's slow, but it's in a video game. And it, this is also, you know, compared to cars that I've driven that have thousands of horsepower, literally. It's actually quite a quick little car. Considering uh, what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and modify this thing. I'm going to drift it. And I know people are going to be like, oh, I can't believe it. Another drifting video. Why do you drift every single car? You know why? Because. Just because. I want to. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and modify this thing. Like I said, uh, we're going to slide it. I'm going to see what options we have for it. What can we do to it? Can I make it faster? Which obviously I can. Can I make it slide? Which obviously I can because every car in this game slides. And it slides very, very easily. But uh, will it handle well? That is a, that's a big question. Also, how fast can we make this thing? Hmm? We could put the 8.4 V10 in it. We could put the Viper V10 in this car. Does that mean that we can have it as powerful as the, uh, as the Formula Drift Viper? I wonder. Can we put a wing on top of the wing? Uh, that would have been so dumb. But also very, very funny. I'm going on with race tires. Uh, because I do know that... This is going to have a ridiculous amount of power. If we can actually get this thing to slide, uh, if we can put drift suspension on it, which we probably can, um, and with the uh, with the engine from the Viper, if I can have the same amount of horsepower that the Formula Drift Viper has in this thing, I'm going to try to see if I can all be drive drift it. They actually kind of suit it. I don't really want to go too big in size either. So maybe go 18s. 18s are perfect. We can go up to 20 inch. That looks stupid. 18s I think are good. Uh, I am also going to go ahead and change the track width, which is something that this car definitely needs. So wheels are way too far in. Race spec everything, of course. Uh, and then suspension, which is what we really need to focus here. So yes, we can definitely put drift suspension on it. And there it is. It does get kind of low, which is good. Uh, again, race spec, everything else, and no roll cage. Let's have a look at the power now. So upgrade everything with the uh, with the V10, the Viper V10. It's already at over a thousand newton meters of torque. This only weighs a thousand kilos as well. Turbo upgrades, one thousand and fifty nine. Horsepower, so this is not going to be making that much power. I thought this was going to make a lot more power. So 1,128 horsepower, 1,300 newton meters of torque. So yeah, it's not going to be that great. So these gears are long, but this thing still has a stupid amount of torque. And it is spinning those wheels constantly, by the looks of things. I mean, I did build... A diesel E-Class. Oh god, and that thing had a lot of torque as well, but the... By the looks of this. By the looks of things. This thing. Oh my god. It's almost undrivable. With the amount of torque that it has. And I said almost because every car in this game is drivable. Just as long as you don't build it. Wrong. Oh my god. Since I left the festival, have I stopped? Have I stopped spinning my rear wheels? I don't think I have. Okay, I've stopped spinning them there, but there's so much smoke behind me. Okay. Finally. I like the way this engine sounds though. 
I do like the way this engine sounds. How slow it was before, though, like, thinking about it. It would- I was just looking at the speedo now. In third gear, I can max this thing out. Watch this. Especially with the gear ratios that I have now. First gear, I'm doing over 80 miles an hour. This is dumb. These gear ratios are stupid. I mean, I did just stretch out my gears just to see what the top speed of this thing would be like. And the torque doesn't matter because... Or well, not the torque doesn't matter, but the gears don't matter because I have so much torque. I'm spinning in every gear. It's super, super unstable. Oh. Alright, let's take this nice and smooth around this roundabout. Then as soon as we get our exit, I'm just gonna floor it. Put it in third. For some reason, I thought that would make a difference if I floor it. But it's not going to. This has got too much torque. Alright, go on. Stop spinning your wheels, please. Catch some grip. I beg. Okay, there we go. There we go. No, it's still spinning the wheels. Oh my god, it's sideways again. This thing just does want to drive a straight line. I'm doing 250 miles an hour. Somehow I tried to slow down there and... There we go. I'm still in control somehow. It's a little squirrely, and it just causes us to go sideways, but it's, it's pretty easy to control. I'm not really holding like crazy, crazy angles. But uh, I think downhill on the uh, on the needle climb should be kind of interesting. Let's just see how this thing drives, how the suspension and everything is on this thing. Um, the angle and all of that. I'm going to go ahead and I think it doesn't really make a difference though with my gears, because I'm just going to keep it in one gear. I'm going to... Bring these down. I'm going to shorten my gears just slightly. I'm going to shorten the final drive. And I think I'm going to be in third the entire time. Because like I said, it just has so much torque. Maybe not even third. Maybe fourth. I feel like this would be a, a good car to do like that one gear build. Yeah, fourth. A bit of a clutch kick. Like I said, all the torque in the world. It honestly feels like I'm driving this thing with like stock tires. I have race tires on it, and it doesn't feel like it for the rear tires. It just feels like it spins them so easily. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. My line is bad, but... Oh my god, I should have gone a little wider there. But... It's so easy. It's so, so easy. Try to go as wide as possible. It's actually mad how easy this thing is to, to control. It's a pretty big car though, if you if you look at it. It's just it's just long. It's not wide though, but it's just long. So how does this perform as a drift car? Honestly, pretty fun. It's pretty fun to drive. I don't know if... See, it has the torque. I may be able to put this thing as an all-wheel drive and just try it out. I honestly think that this would benefit a lot more with some wider tires. I swear, it just feels like it's not on race tires.
Look at the difference in points, though. The difference in points is stupid. Also, why does it have to be nighttime when I'm recording a video? Alright, you guys have a nice view of the, of the Aurora. I went too fast. Yeah, these tires suck. These tires suck so bad. Am I slide all the way? How? How's it letting me do that? I wasn't even- I didn't even have that much speed. I knew that this torque would be way more than enough. For all the drive. It's dumb. At first I was like, you know what, maybe this wouldn't work too well if I have race tires on it. And I make it all-wheel drive. But yeah, some reason, these tires are awful. It's so weird to all-wheel drift. Right now I'm just like, cutting lines and everything, I'm not even driving. Properly. Don't even have the angle. And a little bit too wide there, a little bit off the road. Uh, yeah, I think it's very much possible to squeeze out like 500,000 points with this thing, if I was going for points. Pretty easy to do that, especially with anything all wheel drive. Yeah, so overall, if you want a point car, a car that's good for, for point drifting, if you want to get three stars and everything. You can get this thing for free, and if you upgrade it with the V10 engine, I feel like it's very much possible to, to use it. These tires are just awful, though. I don't know how these are classed as race tires. They just feel bad. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's test, I guess, of this new, this new Commodore that's been added into the game. That's not technically new. It's from 1988, sorry, not 98. But uh, yeah, it's new to the game, so I wanted to give it a shot and see what it's like to, to slide because it's it's Aussie muscle, pretty much. But yeah, the, the original engine is a little, a little sluggish for this thing. Either way, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it, comment, do whatever you guys want to do. Links to other social medias, to my other social medias, I should say, not just other ones, but to mine, are down below in the description. You can check those out on Instagram and all that if you are bothered with those, but for now, like I said, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.